So yeah, the boat is an island packet uh, from the 90. So it's a uh, it's a 35 feet. It's uh, quite a big boat, 35 feet. Uh, really big for cruising. Very robust boat. Um, yeah, very secure boat as well. Um, One of the first things we added uh, a year ago is the, the anchor. The original anchor was quite small, so this is a uh, Mantis 45 pounds, so quite big. It's a very good anchor. Uh, we had one in our previous boat. We put the same here. It gives you a lot of confidence uh, when you anchor at night. So let's get on the boat now and see a little bit more. So for the anchor we have a twin lass, uh, quite big, really good one. Uh, we have 250 feet of chain, um, really easy to, to move. And then you got this to, to operate the, the wind lass uh, up and down so you can with your feet, with your foot you can just uh, up and down as, as you need. It's very easy to operate. Um, we never had any problem with it, so really good stuff. It's much easier than what we had in, in the previous boat where we didn't have any wind last, so we had to, to do it by hand, and that's a complete other story. So that's a cutter. Uh, so we have two port tail, the canoe there, and this is a stay sail. Um, we lost the stay sail, so we are buying a new one. Um, but it's very good because you can really adjust the, the sail you need for all conditions. Uh, the boat stays well balanced, uh, so that's a really good, uh, really good thing. And for the stay sail, we have uh, a self tacking uh, that means if we go on the mast. So the stay sail really tucked by by, uh, by itself. It's, it's very easy. We just remove it because it, it takes quite a bit of space on the deck. I've seen a lot of people that don't use it. Uh, they just use the stay sail and they don't use the boom. Yeah, the, the main the main sail it's just the usual one. We have three reef on the main sail. We store a little bit of diesel on, on deck and gas for the hot bore engine. Uh, not because we use it a lot, actually we don't. With two of these cans I go almost a year, so we use it very little. But what I do is, we don't have a gas station here in the marina. So I, I fill every time uh, a little bit. And when it's empty I just fill it back, so we, all, we, we don't need to go to any gas station to to fill the tank um, and the tank is always full which is good because you avoid the uh, you know development of bacteria in the tank so much that's what we do and that's why we have that store uh, this is good as well we didn't have it in the boat so when you're sailing and you have to close everything uh, you still have you know ventilation by this uh, by this which is good and then uh, good weather or when you are at anchor you have actually three hatches that you can open um, which is really good ventilation very very good ventilation not that we not that is very hot here in washington but okay. so this is something that the previous owner added it's an arm dodger very practical thing uh, because you can really, you know, get yourself to it. It's art, uh, very practical. You protect it uh, by everything. So very nice.
the cockpit it's uh, it's quite spacious actually uh, quite big um, there's a table there so when we eat outside we can use the table uh, we have two inches three inches actually uh, and um, and there's two other winches for the two other winches there um you have as well access to the steering mechanism um, as you can see it's very big, very robust for a 35 feet boat, um, but you have full access to it. We also have some storage here, uh, very small storage uh, on this one. Uh, I mean, for row, uh, for line mostly. Um, another storage here, much bigger, obviously, uh, and can have access a little bit to the engine from here you can you can see a little bit the engine um, but that's a very big storage uh, no we we are very careful to not store anything here that can move and go against cable and stuff like this so mostly we just store there and line and that's where we put the trash when we uh, sail for a long time uh, Really big. This is the autopilot. Um, it's a Remarine autopilot. Uh, working good. Um, and this is an that is to pump out if uh, it's a manual pump uh, for the bilge. So there is a, you have a stick there and and you can pump manually if you're electric pump does do not work and that's the engine panel yeah, as we said before this is completely protected um, so and here in, in Washington I mean it's raining it's it can be cold the wind can be cold so this is, this is really nice because you don't have the wind and we also have a bimini um, practical as well not very much for the sun here uh, again but practical for the rain uh, when you are steering uh, it protect you from the 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 wind uh, we had a project to close it completely uh, not much remaining really if you want to close it completely it's, it's relatively easy uh, that's something for probably later now this is something really interesting is the solar panel from the previous owner and um, yeah with that we really have enough power we never put the engine to 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 load the battery it's really enough we have the fridge working full time the freezer working full time instrument and so on and we never go down 90 95 percent so on the morning we will be at 95 and then during the day we'll go up to 100 percent again even in winter we didn't have any problem uh, we've been selling the whole winter and our battery it's most it, it was always around 80 in winter so uh, yeah it's more than enough uh, electricity for the boat uh, yeah we have a dinghy uh, obviously and an engine for the dinghy a uh, very new engine we bought it last week actually uh, we didn't have last year um, and the boat have uh, Davis just to lower and the dinghy so that's very practical uh, we didn't have it in any of our previous boat and that's really very easy to low to lower and and get the dinghy up again uh, on the boat so very nice addition to the to the boat we, we removed the, 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 the vernish uh, so it, we let the tea completely uh, natural we just oil it it's much easier to maintain uh, and it's I, I think I like it uh, better to be honest than the, the original redness uh, there 
well, it's a question of taste, but it's a question of facility. Uh, you know, it's easier to maintain. You see, with no vernish at all. Uh, so this year we need to put another, obviously more oil, uh, but it's so easy to maintain like this. Okay, scenario, if we don't have gas, we still have the barbecue. We put it last year as well. Um, and we use it quite a lot, actually. So, so this is the, the V-Bird. Um, at the beginning, we were sleeping here. Um, because it's, it's a nice cabin and it's, it's, I'm two meters high and I still can stand here. So it's, it's, it's a very nice cabin. Uh, the bed is quite big as well. Uh, again, I can, I, I sleep well here. Um, and then we move on the other cabin that we will show you later because it's a king size bed, the other cabin. So it's, 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 it's really much bigger than this one, but this one, it's really, really nice. Um, good thing about this cabin, it's um, a lot of ventilation, so you got, you know, uh, three, actually three, one hatch there, uh, and the, the portal, so uh, very, very nice ventilation. When it's hot in summer, uh, you sleep much better in this cabin. Um, we use it, as we don't sleep here, we use it more as a garage, we put, you know, stuff here. Um, so uh, that's the use of it at the moment. But I think if we had to go to, you know, in summer or warmer um, water, then we will probably go back, come back here uh, because the ventilation is, is just great. Uh, this is the chain locker uh, there. There's a reflector as well for the radar that I didn't, I don't use very much, but uh, it's there. Um, and that's the chain locker. This is the oh sorry. sorry. You can close the door so the cabin can be completely closed. Um, here we have a as you see more storage for uh, we got more storage there for um, clothes. More storage there as well. So quite a bit of storage all around. Um, I didn't mention it, but below the below here, it's all storage as well. So it's a lot of other storage there. We we don't use all of them, uh, but you see, it's empty for us. But it's you know, whenever you need storage, uh, when we do longer cruise, obviously. It will be filled, but uh, for the moment it's empty. Yes. So we have more storage in both sides uh, and the center. So all these are storage. Quite big as well. As you see. that we store here and that's all my oil and stuff like this and then here it's a huge storage that I use as well uh, very big storage no so from here you have access to the to the app as well The other so yeah the the table here it's actually double uh, you can we never do use it really but you can open that table and then you have a huge table uh, to eat we are only two so we don't really use it um, that table actually uh, we, we, we used we let the table usually but actually that table, you can put it back against the, uh, against that. So you pull this, it's completely free. Um, yeah, we have some space there for glasses and, and the whiskey, uh, which is important. And below that, uh, it's all storage completely. And on the other side, 
exactly the same thing uh, full storage so the other way to to store the, the table is it's very easy oh. take just a few a few seconds you got this uh, this thing there that you put to, to block the the table and that's it and you have a huge space here that's the way it works and to put it down you have a this thing here up so this is the ad um, very typical quite quite big actually uh, you have showers uh, we use it because I will explain that but we have hot water so we, we can take shower in and it's extremely nice in winter I can tell you again there is very good ventilation there so this is a diesel heater um, so it's very easy so to put your heater just on and you can adjust the temperature the temperature very practical in winter um, we use it the entire winter uh, because it's obviously getting cold during the winter so very nice uh, very nice stuff uh, on the galley you you can extend your galley as well a little bit like this uh, there is a, like this so as i said before storage there but in both sides this is all storage as well so it's a lot of storage yeah. it's amazing how many things you can put in this, in this boat you can all this all storage and in the other side as well other feature here is this is a bed as well so you can you can do that you see i can do more with the table but you can make a bed here this is the water tank uh, you can access directly from here and here you have access to the bilge completely dry as you see this is again the, the water tank that's the bilge and other bilge here <laughs> to the beach as well okay so this is the fridge um, when we sail uh, we can or, or cruising it's always on it's you can let it on all the time with the solar panel there's no problem there's a small freezer as well here you know, the fridge it's huge um, I don't know if, if you can see it there but it's it's a really big fridge <laughs> I can I can fit inside the fridge actually, uh, and you can see it's it's very very big fridge. Uh, what we do is when we are not in the boat, then we shut down the fridge obviously uh, and we clean it. But um, yeah, it's, it's it's nice. A lot of storage there as well. If you have seen our other video, you know we're cooking a lot. Uh, this is added uh, for more storage here we got the two burner and the oven nothing there out of normal and so this is all storage as well course and more storage there and we have two sink again hot water if you need so that's something the, we can do hot water so when the engine it's running we actually doing hot water um, and if you are on the dock you have hot water as well we have a heater for the hot water so you always have hot water or cold water uh, wherever you're in the dock or just uh, in, in 
well, if, if you anchor, you just have to run the engine a little bit to to get hot water. Um, there's more storage here as well. Okay. So this is the, the navigation table, which I absolutely never use. Uh, when I need the table, I use the, the one there. So I never use it, but here is the, is the table. Um, and there is a seat here that you can use. So it's supposed to be the, the place. Um, we got all our panel control here. Uh, VHF radio. Uh, this is the radar. Uh, not not a new one, but uh, it's working and make his his job. Um, that give you the the battery. So as you see, we have no power shore. We never put the power shore uh, already, but we are at one hundred percent. That's the the solar panel only, um, and this is as well for the solar panel. There is more storage there. around storage we put here or the uh, knife jacket and, and stuff like this uh, and you can keep on with storage there is storage everywhere in this boat this is for the the water tank uh, okay alright come on same as oh my stop my stop so this is the, another pa control panel. This is for the the windlass uh, for the anchor, uh, the engine uh, hours. This is the battery set switch. But actually, we have so we have two batteries, um, but they work together. So they charge together, and uh, so the, the selector it's not very useful here, except if you want to put it off. Um, and here, this is the automatic uh, bilge pump, uh, which is always on, obviously. You can it manual if you need to, uh, but it remain uh, in automatic most of the time. Yeah. So this is where we sleep. Uh, it's just a huge cabin. The bed, so we, we, we both a mattress, so we know it. It's a king size. The, 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 it's a king size bed, actually. Um, and yeah, again, I'm two meters high, so uh, there's plenty of space. There is some ventilation as well. Uh, there's one uh, port hole here that we can use uh, if we need ventilation. So at the end, we move from the the other cabin to this one, uh, just because the size of the bed it's 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 so big. Um, and we put a mattress here. Uh, so it's, uh, it's it's a very comfortable place. Um, the the diesel eater it's here. So this is where the um, the air it's coming, the hot air it's coming. Um, here more storage as well. So 